good afternoon students uh, the revision work of calci now today we will discuss uh, if uh, we will help we will have to solve any mathematical equation how to solve that suppose in a cell a1 i have two in cell a2 it is 3 A three, four, okay, and uh, one formula is here. clear so according to your uh, bad mass rule bad mass kya kehta hai beta first brackets ko solve karo theek hai then solve exponent exponent hota hai power kahin pe agar aapke paas aise likha hua hai a2 exponent 3 iska matlab a2 power 3 theek hai exponent ka ye wala symbol hota hai तो आपने एक्सपोनेंट को सॉल्व करना है देन डिवीजन मल्टीप्लाई एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन क्लियर नो हेयर इज वन ट्विस्ट कि अगर मल्टीप्लाई और डिवीजन या एडिशन और सब्ट्रैक्शन में जो पहले आता है वन बाय वन आ रहा है जो पहले आएगा उसको पहले सॉल्व करेंगे फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ टेन प्लस थ्री माइनस फाइव अब प्लस और माइनस प्लस और माइनस क्लियर इनमें से जो पहले आएगा वो पहले सॉल्व होगा मीन्स टेन प्लस थ्री थर्टीन माइनस फाइव हियर इज एट क्लियर अगर आप यहां पे ये केस होता कि इन केस ऑफ दिस अगर ऐसे होता टेन माइनस थ्री प्लस फाइव तो जो पहले आ रहा है उसको पहले सॉल्व करना तो यू विल सॉल्व माइनस फर्स्ट देन प्लस सिंबल तो टेन माइनस थ्री इट इज सेवन प्लस फाइव ठीक है तो आपके पास देन इट इज ट्वेल्व क्लियर और मल्टीप्लाई ऑन डिवीजन जो पहले आएगा उसको पहले सॉल्व करोगे ठीक है फॉर एग्जांपल तो टेन मल्टीप्लाई बाय थ्री थर्टी डिवाइड बाई टू इट इज फिफ्टीन क्लियर और अगर ऐसे होता टेन डिवाइड बाई टू इन टू थ्री तो डिविजन पहले जो पहले आ रहा है उसको पहले ठीक है तो टेन डिवाइड बाई थ्री टू इट इज फाइव देन इन टू थ्री इट इज फिफ्टीन क्लियर तो ये कब होगा जब वन बाय वन आएंगे ठीक है अगर इन बिटवीन कोई प्लस सिंबल या माइनस सिंबल आ गया तो उसको वो तो आपका डिफरेंट हो जाएगा फॉर एग्जांपल अगर ऐसे हो क्लियर नाउ हियर इज इन टू फिर प्लस आ रहा है फिर डिविजन आ रहा है सिंबल सेपरेट है अब आपने यहां पे प्रॉपर वो पहले क्या करना सॉल्व ठीक है यहां मल्टीप्लाई भी कर सकते हो पहले ठीक है तो मल्टीप्लाई सॉल्व कर दिया इट इज पहले डिवीजन कर लो तो बेटर है आपके पास टेन इंटू थ्री प्लस फाइव फाइव डिवाइड बाई टू टू पॉइंट फाइव देन मल्टीप्लाई थर्टी प्लस टू पॉइंट फाइव इट इज थर्टी टू पॉइंट फाइव इस तरीके से क्लियर 
तो कम टू अवर क्वेश्चन हियर इज ए वन प्लस ए थ्री डिवाइड ए टू इन टू ए वन अकॉर्डिंग टू दैड मास रूल ब्रैकेट मस्ट बी सॉल्व फर्स्ट क्लियर तो इफ यू नाउ दैल्यूज आर ए वन टू ए थ्री फोर डिवाइड बाय ए टू दैट इज थ्री इन टू ए वन हेयर इज टू Now solve the bracket first. Here is six. Divide by three into two. Now division and into or multiply. One के बाद एक आ रहे हैं. तो क्या पहले कौन सा solve करोगे? जो पहले आ रहा है. ठीक है. Now you will divide six by three. It is two into two. Answer is four. This is the way. क्लियर तो ना यस ऑनलाइन स्टूडेंट क्लियर बेटा देवी हर क्लियर बेट एनी डाउट इन दिस नो सर ओके बेटा नाउ अगेन वन मोर क्वेश्चन अगेन दी वैल्यूज आर गिवन हियर सॉल्व द फॉलोइंग इक्वेशन The equation is this one. Now, according to the bad mass rule, pehle bracket bracket is not here. Clear? Then exponent. So before that, insert the values. <coughs> values are two exponent three plus a three value is four divided by a one value is two into a two value is three. तो एक्सपोनेंट को पहले सॉल्व करना है ठीक है इफ वी सॉल्व एक्सपोनेंट टू पावर थ्री इट इज एट प्लस फोर डिवाइड बाय टू इंटू थ्री अब ये देखो बेटा डिवीजन एंड इंटू वन बाय वन तो जो पहले आएगा उसको पहले सॉल्व करना है ठीक है तो हेयर इज एट प्लस टू डिवाइड बाय फोर डिवाइड बाय टू इट इज टू इंटू थ्री देन एट प्लस थ्री इंटू टू इट इज सिक्स नाउ इट इज फोर्टीन क्लियर नाउ वन मोर क्वेश्चन The question is like this, okay? So fill the values. A two, it is three. A three, it is four. Into A one, it is two. Plus A two, it is three. Divide by A three, that is three. So here is bracket. Solve the bracket first. Seven into here bracket five. Divide by three. Now into an division, one by one, one after one. Okay. So here, I we will solve into first. So seven into five. 
it is 35 divided by 3 it is a3 is uh, 4 11 okay divide by 4 okay so divide by 4 so here it will be 8.75 i think so 8.75 uh 35 into 4 yes it is 8.75 this is the answer now next is there are some questions the formula is given there we copy the formula in another cell what will be the new formula okay in that you will have to follow where uh, we will have to check whether that uh, reference is relative absolute or mixed reference okay Write down one question. Write down if in cell B12 formula is Okay, students, uh, in this formula, this is your relative reference. So, relative reference will be changed according to the cell address. It is a mixed reference. Okay. And this is your absolute reference. Okay. Uh, formula is this one. If we copy the formula in C15, what will be the new formula? Okay, so we have formula ko A C15 mein copy karna hai. So now check change in column 1, B to C. Clear? But change in row 12, 13, 14, 15. 3 add or 12 plus 3. 15. So, Jitna call room, call me chain, go through Amne call me chain, Jitna room, chain, go through room. So, here is in place of B, it is C. In place of 5, it will be 8. Here plus A, here will be B. 2, it will be 5. 3 ka, 3 ka difference are. Okay. So, key reference consi, a relative reference. Hai. So, relative, relative reference means don't change. Okay. Row B, column B. So, here will be B5. Okay. But this value is mixed reference. Okay. So, mixed reference means just a dollar sign hai, as it is. So, here is dollar B. So, dollar B as it is. B. No change. But here is a 3. 3 plus 3, 6. Plus a dollar one. The so column is not fixed. So a ki jaga kya aega? B. But dollar one as it is. Now here is thirty. This is a fixed value as it is. Plus this is your absolute reference it will remain as it is so this is your new formula clear note down the formula
प्रतीक्षा क्लियर बेटा यस सर ओके बेटा नाउ नेक्स्ट प्रोग्राम इज नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज write down if a formula if this this formula is in cell d20 if we copy the formula in f 25 what will be the new formula okay students so tell me change in column 2 okay change in row 5 theek hai to here relative reference both will be changed b here is d in place of 10 15 plus d here is f 11 16 but this is your mixed reference jiske aage dollar sign hai wo bilkul same rahega so here is dollar a but in 12 12 plus 5 it is 17 plus here is a will be changed in place of a we will take c dollar 13 as it is okay then 20 is a constant value 20 as it is but this is again absolute reference so it remain as it is this is the other now the question uh, concept is clear beta okay now next question identify the cell reference okay identify the cell reference dollar a dollar 3 it is a absolute reference absolute reference if both dollar with column and with row it is called absolute reference theek okay? hai this is मिक्स रेफरेंस पेपर में भी अगर आए ना आपके एग्जांपल दो तो ऐसे देनी है ठीक है ये नहीं देना पूरा फॉर्मूला लिख दो पेपर में राइट ऑन दी एनी टू एग्जांपल ऑफ मिक्स रेफरेंस ठीक है एक ये भी क्या है अगेन मिक्स रेफरेंस टेन it it is not a reference it is a constant value reference kya hoti hai cell address clear this is not a reference
d5 rounded reference so this is your reference question next program a next question now write down find out number of cells in the range a5 colon d8 to aapne kya karna hai find out karna hai number of columns theek hai multiply by number of rows so from a to d how many columns in 5 to 8 these are 5 6 7 8 4 8 theek hai count kiya karo beta a b c d it's okay Here is five, six, seven, eight. Total four. So four into four. Here is sixteen. Clear. So next question. Find out number of cells in the range. D nine colon G fourteen. So uh, yes, there is a one one doubt. So Tiksha, yes, brother. Sir, I have asked you that this is what you are doing in calcium. Absolute value. One more time, tell me about the absolute value. Okay, brother. One minute, brother. Well, uh, first complete this. After that, I will discuss the absolute value again. Absolute reference. Okay. Beta here is D to G number of columns. Okay. D E F G number of rows nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. How many? Okay, six. So six into four, it is twenty-four. Clear? Now next question. Name the different cells. Yeah, third question different. Okay, आपके पास. Name the different cells in the range. Name the different cells in the range. A three colon D five. Okay, here. I am not asking the uh, number of cells. Name the cells. So, I am not asking questions. Go solve. Can I make rough note? Will you? You write down here columns A, B, C, D. Okay. Here is starting from three, three, four, five. so this is your working in working note ab to aapke paas name kaun se hoge cell ke a3 a4 a5 then b3 b4 b5 c3 C four, C five, D three, D four, D five. Because with the help of this uh, diagram, you can find out the names very easily. Otherwise, if you find out with any other method, possibility is that there are wrong answers. Clear? Next is.
names the different cells in the range C15 to F15, ठीक है तो हेयर C, D, E, F, रो इज ओनली वन ठीक है अब आपने इसको ड्रॉ कर लो इसको ड्रॉ वन टेबल सो दिस एल एस C15, here is D15, here is E15, here is F15. Clear? तो अभी तक हमने एक क्वेश्चन सॉल्व किया नेम द डिफरेंट सेल्स इन द रेंज सेकेंड वन इज नंबर ऑफ सेल्स थर्ड Uh, about the reference type, whether it is a mixed reference or absolute or relative. And remember, if we are using no any dollar sign, it is always a relative reference. If we are using dollar sign before row and before column, it is absolute reference. And if we are using डॉलर साइन बिफोर कॉलम और रो दोनों में से किसी एक में दिस इज कॉल्ड मिक्स्ड रेफरेंस प्रतीक्षा क्लियर ओके बेटा नाउ द नेक्स्ट प्रोग्राम इज नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज uh what is the extension of calci file the extension of calci file is dot o d s clear the extension of calci file is dot o d s no doubt this question is very common question okay always in the exams the extension of uh, calci file and in the case of your uh, excel file excel is okay this is excel file this is your which file calci file now next question is uh, in your syllabus there are some inbuilt functions okay so one by one we will solve that ठीक है तो राइट डाउन व्हाट विल बी दी व्हाट विल बी द आउटपुट ऑफ फॉलोइंग व्हाट विल बी द आउटपुट ऑफ फॉलोइंग सो हियर But the first function in your syllabus is sum. So sum function will find out total of all the values, all the numeric values. ठीक है जितने भी numeric value होगी सभी का total. And uh, suppose I am giving here ten. But uh, if the values are separate, use semicolon. But in Excel we use comma, but in uh, Calci we use semicolon. 
what will be the result? 10 plus 20 plus 30, it is 60. But if you are using another function, so there is a, another function average. So average will better find out uh, the average of uh, that range. So agar mar pas ek value hai 10. Okay. And uh, we are taking another uh, one numeric value, another uh, string value, then numeric value. So it will add numeric values and divide by number of cells. Here 10 plus 20, 30, it is 40. And how many cells we will consider? Only two. So 40 divided by two, answer is 20. So average will ignore the text value or string value. It will not uh, consider these values. Okay. So you have answer here. Online students, any doubt here? One minute, better. 